guessing you're familiar with some food preservative agents like salt and sugar. I mean, after all, humans have used these two ingredients for eternity in foods. But what about things like nitrites or benzoic acid and sulfites? These are just three more food preserving agents that you might be less familiar with, which is why we'll be diving into what are these food preserving agents and how exactly do they extend the shelf life of foods and prevent spoilage? Preservatives are ingredients added to our food with the specific job of increasing the shelf life or making sure that the food doesn't spoil when it's sitting on the grocery store shelf or sitting in your home. Now, preservatives are just one type of food additive because the term food additive is very broad. It's basically any component that becomes part of a processed food. So food additive includes preservatives, but also other ingredients like antioxidants, enzymes, colors, thickeners, and much more. By definition, preservatives are added to food to either stop or at least slow down microbial growth and therefore spoilage that might change either the taste, the texture, or some other quality of the food. So these molecules are really added to stop bacteria, yeast, and mold from growing and trying to keep the food fresh for longer. But how exactly do these molecules make the food stay good for longer? Like what exactly are they doing in here? And this is what I think confuses most people. So I wanna explain the two main ways that food preservatives help preserve food. The most common way that food preservatives do their job is by controlling the water in foods. And this works because bacteria, yeast, mold, any microorganism needs water to live. Like us, they need water to thrive and to grow. And so when we add a preservative, something like salt or sugar, these tiny molecules, these ingredients actually sort of bind a water molecule or they interact with water. And when this happens, the spoilage microorganisms cannot use that water. This limits how much these spoilage microorganisms are able to grow and sort of spoil how fast they're able to spoil the food. So controlling water by adding ingredients or preservatives that sort of bind that water, interact with the water, is one very common way that food preservatives work to extend the shelf life of food. A second way that preservatives extend shelf life is that they actually enter the microbial cell and they disrupt the microorganism's metabolism or maybe even make their cells burst open, destroying the microorganism. And for example, this is what uh, sulfites do as well as any acids added to foods. How this works is once one of these preservatives or this ingredient is added to food, these molecules, they are tiny enough, they can actually migrate into a microorganism. So they're tiny enough, they can sneak through these pores in the cell wall of uh, bacteria, say. And once enough of these little molecules have accumulated, inside the bacteria, they really aren't able to function anymore, their metabolism is all messed up, their enzymes aren't working, and if a lot of these molecules accumulate, eventually the microorganism, whether that's a bacteria, yeast, or mold, their cells might just burst open and be destroyed. So this is another mechanism where with certain ingredients, certain preservatives, you can also extend the shelf life of foods by at least controlling the growth of these microorganisms or destroying them. If you enjoyed this video, next I would watch my full guide to food preservatives where I also include the health impacts of these types of ingredients.